Good morning to the Brookfield Selectmen's meeting of February 20th, 2018. If you would like to raise and join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. First thing here on the agenda, I would like to approve uh, the expense warrant of 212.18 for $136,132.98. Do you have a motion to approve? Okay. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, now this is uh, the next one is to approve selectmen's minutes of 123.18 as an executive board session. Could I have a motion? Do you have a motion to approve? All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, this is to approve minutes, reports from other departments. We have the Brookfield Fire Department from January 2018 and the Recreation Department minutes from 111.18. We have that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And I would like to say on the, I'd like to, on the, the Fire Department, I would like, we have two anniversaries and I'd like to congratulate them. It's firefighter Daniel Driscoll with nine years of service to the community and firefighter David Merlo with seven years. And I want to thank them for their service to the town. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Do we have any public access? I see none. I see none. Hey, uh, did you want to speak under public access? Yeah, anything good? Sure. sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Don't be bashful. I know I've hit you with like, I don't know how many emails recently because a lot of stuff's been yeah. coming up. But one thing that's big is the tax title. And last week I suggested that um, we should all sit down, everybody that has a, a piece of it. Um, everybody from my department, the water department, the collector, the board of health. I mean, it's, I think it's a group thing. There's over a million dollars out there right now. It's a number that we shouldn't let get any bigger. So I, I would suggest that we should be saying if we're, if we're four or five parcels are added every year, we should target, try to get four or five off there. The, and, and ultimately try to get that number down. We're not going to collect all million dollars because some of you, know, you could have a parcel that's worth ten thousand dollars, but owes fifty grand in back taxes. So obviously, we're, we're never going to get it. But I think it's misleading for the general public when they look. Um, and can you hear me okay over there, Beth? I can hear you great. Okay. Thank you, Beth. So I would just, I think it's something we need to do. I don't know who drives it, um, but I, it hasn't, we haven't had an auction in quite a while, but I think it's time we take some of these properties back and if nothing else, get them back on the tax rolls. But going forward, we get a little more no, revenue coming. You know what with Brenda? It starts with, it starts with Brenda because she has to advertise them in the paper mm -hmm. and then after she advertises them, it comes over to the treasurer's office. Correct, and I think some of that has been done, but I don't think we know. Well, what happened, I think, with some of it, um, someone had done some work for Sandy uh, quite a while back, and a lot of, and then uh, Kenny P looked it over, and a lot of work had been done wrong, and so she had to take and have it redone again. Mm -hmm. And then she had went to see there was some kind of a, a real estate company who would buy the tax titles and try to sell them. That's an alternative. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a, that was an alternative to do. Well, will they buy the properties or they'll buy the tax title, which they, means that ultimately they have like a lien on that property. Yeah, that's what yeah. it is. So, yeah, they buy it, yeah, they take the tax title instead of us. Right. So, so just, just a, a, a quick note, the company that came in when they reviewed the properties that we had in the population, they really were only willing to purchase like one or two of the properties. Um, and, and what we need probably to take a look at a couple of different steps is one, do we have any properties besides the campground 
that have gone all the way through the process and through in court and that we own. Uh, cause I don't think we've ever done a auction or sale, like at least in recent memory, of any of the properties that made it all the way through the process. No. So we need to, so I, I don't know if you have visibility on those as well as what's currently processing through tax title. Well, uh, I, well I, I remember years ago, we did have an auction on a property, but then um, the owner had a friend of the owners came up and he bid on the property and bought it. And I can't remember, I can't remember any tax auctions at all. It's been a long time since we've had any of those at all. It's my recommendation. And, and we did this probably 18 months ago. We did have a select ones meeting at one point where we received a letter from KMT and we received a similar document than, that we had that lists this million dollars. Yeah. We did t we did sit down for a very few minutes at a select mm -hmm. means meeting and talked about yes. it, but we didn't talk, uh, you know, take it further. Mm -hmm. Personally, where I, I was part of that mm -hmm. is that a, a, probably a third of that million dollars can, comes from two properties, yes. Camp Brown being mm -hmm. one of them. We, in fact, for the campground specifically, we actually have one parcel that is yet to be yes. taken, mm -hmm. and so that that's in the in the process. So, so the the, the uh, campground being one big chunk, we've got the CM, uh, community block grant now that's looking towards the Finney thing to see what we can do, what next steps, and whatnot. So again, in those two properties, we took a big uh, chunk out of what the million dollars is. What I would think would be important, and, and again, I, I would suggest if we could have a round table and just have that as a topic, I think it would be uh, behoove us, because what I'd like to do is to see if we could put a spreadsheet together of, mm -hmm. okay, those were two properties, we did take action, contrary to popular mm -hmm. belief, we did take actions, and in the case of the campground, we still have to take a further action to, to resolve what the next steps will be with that, and again, none of those actions, unfortunately, in the case of the campground, I would suggest, though we can always talk about it, with, that that property will never come back. Mm -hmm. And so given, no. given that, it was 274,000, Alan, and again, I, this is a number that's in the, in my yeah, head. It's not on the list you now. Mean, yeah. You okay. It's not part of that million oh, now. Okay. All right. Then okay. I feel better about that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so again, I, what I would suggest is if we could have a round table on this. Yes. Yeah. It, during the day, sure. sometime, where we just focus on what are the, the what's that list, current list. Mm -hmm. My apologies for thinking Camp Brown was still there. Mm -hmm. um, and have a spreadsheet to say, KP owns these, we own this, the treasurer owns, the accountant owns, whatever. And that we, we then can understand what those next steps are per property. Yeah, or, at least, or at least the big, yeah. the big uh, ones. Quarterly to do that so that then everybody kind of knows what's in their lane and okay. what the priority work. This is the newest one. Yeah. So we got. Did you get the newest one? Right. Yeah. Yes. I, the only one on there, the very first one, is uh, Bab, I believe. Yeah. And that's that strip of land that's adjacent to Hobbs. Yeah. I don't believe any of you. The only other one that is uh, yeah. five Hobbs, I believe, is on there. Yeah, um, about should, halfway down. Should be bad. Nope, it's not. It's a different name. It's uh, because that's alphabetical. Yes, yes, I know who you mean. It's an old trailer that sits there, and there's somebody in oh, it. Oh, that one. Okay, that's outside the campground. Yep. Yep. Okay. It's on the right. I know. I know what you. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And that's kind of what kicked this off because somebody came in and said, "Can I buy it? Oh. And I want to put a garage on it." And I said, "Well, let's find out what we have to do." And so I think that's one that is. Probably the, the town is probably do more for value. Is. You said it was another hobbit? Where did you yeah. find that out? Uh, about halfway down, 5 Hobbs Avenue. Is that on the 5 D7. I got 5 D. Oh, okay, it's right here. Yep. 5 D7. No, that's it. That's 71 and on. Oh, 5 D. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 5 D is on the uh, North Pond. Okay, process. all right. So that's one that, you know, that's how it started when we talked about that. Mm -hmm. Well, that's like I said, I'd love to have a spreadsheet that says the next action, the next action, so that we're, and who owns that action. And to take that one step farther, I would like to see a Word document that says, 
from the fact from his where they they're paying taxes, everything's fine, yep. they stop paying taxes. What needs to be done yep. by yep. who and at what point so that in the future we can be uh, smoother in the uh, in this whole operation? Well, and again, we had a false start with the idea of the Attorney General's program mm -hmm. as well. And, and that took us several months to decide that the town didn't want us to go down that path, unfortunately. Um, so again, it's, it would be very important to have one document that allows us with the word words behind it, mm -hmm. uh, so that we can understand who owns it, what's the next action, what's the timing, so that at least we can be. I mean, we don't need a meeting uh, to look at the spreadsheet to say, "Hey, this is due now." Absolutely, and if we did that on a quarterly, and we did have a uh, a uh, financial meeting at one point, and. Um, and if that's going to be a quarterly thing, maybe this is part of that financial team maybe, meeting. I think maybe that we are, uh, I think all of us should try to attend this meeting. At least the first, the the first, first one. one. I think we all should have a day to attend this test. I agree. The more the merrier. Yeah. So let's call it as a selectman meeting, meeting and, and just that's the only agenda <laughs> topic. And, and, and mornings, I think everybody's here in the morning, so it's just as easy to have everybody come in in the morning. Yeah, needs to be. Sure. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Beth, do you have a date with what would be good for you maybe to accept this meeting? Uh, yes, usually um, usually Thursday mornings are best for me. Um, right now, uh, I can you know usually I can make a Tuesday or Wednesday, but right now Thursday is actually best. Not this coming one, but the following Thursday I can definitely. What is that date on? And, and earlier is better for me if it's a Thursday. Yes, Thursday so, is. You want to do nine at five or eight o'clock and five at five. March first. Ah, March first isn't good for me. Oh, it's not. No, and I'd like to be. Uh, we could do. Uh, we could do Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday. We just move week. What's the next uh, one? The next one is the eighth. March eighth. But that we could do. We could do Thursday. Could we do Thursday the uh, uh, the ninth? I think that's it. That's the eighth, but that's. Uh, we're going, we're going to something that we can on the 8th. Um, yeah. During the day. Yeah, during the day. We're going to the 6th. Yeah. I'll check up. I don't know. I'm pretty sure. I'm sure. I don't know. Do we want to maybe go into Thursday? You don't want to, you don't want to add it to the selectman's meeting on the 6th because you're going to set your meeting dates and I have a 10th. Yeah, but that's, that's, that's evening. That's evening. You don't want to do it evening. Okay. Yeah. It, March 8th's the next and you guys got something? Yeah. So 15. Yeah. 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 Tuesday, Tuesday the 6th is an afternoon meeting. I could also do that. But we're meeting, you're meeting that night. We're meeting in the evening. Yeah, we're meeting in the evening. Oh, okay. Well, how about, um, let's see, what else did we do here? The 15th? 15th. In the morning? Um, but it, it, how, how about next Tuesday then during the day? And I, I hate to push this off any farther. If, if, we, if we do it in the afternoon, I could probably do next Tuesday. That would be the 27th. Yeah. Are 20. we meeting at night? No, okay. you're, you're not meeting at, no, you're going to set the meetings today and hopefully Okay, 6 Tuesday 27 sounds good. Okay. At what, at what time? Uh, would noon be okay with everybody? Noon? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's I'll, fine. I'll make anything work. Yeah. Okay. And again, that's going to be the topic. We're going to focus yeah, on it. That's it. Oh. Yeah, that sounds good. And that's all we'll focus, like you said, is tax title, and we're not going to take anything else. Okay, now. Who, who will send out an, like an invitation? Do we Karen need Karen, Karen, do you want to write down everybody that yeah, probably yeah. should be involved? And, and so now, if I we're making a name, should this be an executive session? Uh, portions of it wouldn't be executive session, and portions of it might. So, what we may want to do is meet about the open meeting portion first and then move to executive. Yeah, the strategy on yeah, the strategy documenting. Because I don't think you can bring up these different names so depending I'll, on how much they owe. Regular meeting right, and that's probably session. inappropriate. That's what we can well, 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 the dollars and the names are public record, actually. It's just if we're going to talk about strategy from a standpoint of, of oh. court cases, oh, okay. that's where we follow their executive session. Oh, right. and, that's where, and that's really what we're going to be doing. It's, yeah. it's one that's yeah. going to be the logistic way yeah. that we want to have a meeting quarterly, that we want to have a spreadsheet with annotations as yeah. to who's got responsibility and then we would then go into our executive session to go one by one down through these yes, things. We have to. Yep. It's important. And there's like a dozen of them that are related to the court. Mm -hmm. 
That's another document we should make sure we have. The KP letter, yeah. the latest, latest KP letter. So Karen, in addition to the people... I have Treasurer, Tax Collector, Board of Selectmen, Assessor, Board of Health. Anybody else? Accountant. Accountant, yeah. Um, water Department. Yeah. Oh, okay. You, you feel the Water Department too? It's something that it came up in that you know they a lot of these properties are have a relation to them. Well, don't they have? Isn't there a lien though on the tax bill? No, not on the tax. Isn't there a lien with water? They used to be. Right, but the if, if you're discussing a particular parcel yeah. as to whether or not they're back, is the water still turned on or off? Is right. anybody living mm -hmm. there? Because if the water's turned yeah. off, it becomes a board of health mm -hmm. issue that is not happening. Right, and that's where we went. That's where the board of but, health. But do you have though? I know years ago they used to put water liens on the tax bills. Is it is that there anymore on people that owe tax? I, that would be that would come under uh, Brenda. Okay. I wouldn't see oh, that. Okay. And I, I believe that's also true. Yeah, that's yeah. what I, I believe. So uh, I think Keith would be valuable too. So. Oh too. yeah, we'll ask Keith then too. And uh, and you had Kerry on that, right? Yeah, yeah. Kerry, and we have Lonnie. We have yeah. every, everybody sends. Yeah, that probably does it. I mean, if it, I don't think you need building inspector or yeah. input or zoning or anything. I think we need the building inspector. No, but probably I, not. They're, we can communicate with them once we've got yeah. kind of like what the next step actions are. Yeah, no, I think that's great. And I, yeah. I think to okay. come up with a strategy on how to do it, and then we can go right yeah. through the list and okay. say, you know, which ones uh, warrant action sooner rather than later. So. That's good. All right, so we'll, we'll plan on meeting them. Okay, Linda, uh, I appreciate your time. Welcome. Yep, thanks. Super. Uh, All right, we're moving on here. Um, I would like a vote to ratify the Chapter 90 reimbursement signatures. You have that motion. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Now these are some. These are special use permits again for the lake. There's only one, and this is for uh, to use the Quay Bob Pond on 6:24:18, and it's for the Friday night bass group. Motion to approve. <coughs> Beth. Okay. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 So that'll be one that you'll need to sign if you can get in. Yep. I'll, I'll put in the fee then. Okay. Now we have a resignation here. This is from Dina LaDuke. I confirm I no longer wish to be on the Historical Commission, so please remove me from the board. Motion to approve. Uh, I'll second that. Okay. And I hate to see, you know, people that have been on these boards. I mean, they do a, a very good job, and we have to take with regret, so we have to take this. And maybe Karen can get a letter yes. out in the mail to her. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now we have an appointment. To the Board of Selectmen from Donald Fagano, and it's a historical commission vacancy. I am writing to request that I be considered for appointment to a vacancy that currently exists on the historical commission. I previously served on the commission and most recently served on the Quay Bog 300th anniversary group. Thank you for your time and consideration. I think this is an excellent person to be on the historical commission, so I would like to um, make a motion to appoint Donald Fagno to the historical commission. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, and so we have his uh, right here. He said it by Clarence to sign it, but shouldn't it be Beth? Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Okay, here's another request for him. Okay, this comes from the Agricultural Commission. Okay. They, they would like to request permission to hold a tractor parade in conjunction with the Garden Club's plant sale on Saturday, May 26th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. The parade route would go around the common. And that's from Cindy Thompson. I don't have any problem with that at all. Yeah, it worked out well so last it, year. It worked out good, so I'd like a motion. You have that motion. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, now we want to set some dates for our selectmen's meeting. All right. Uh, how about 3 6, 3 20, 4 3, and 4 17. 
That works. So those are all evening days, all evening meetings? Yeah, those are all evening meetings. The only time that something comes up that, you know, like something had come up from last week, this is why we wanted to do it in the morning. Understood. Okay. And most, and most weeks I probably could have made it work, it just couldn't happen today. Oh, okay. So. All right. Now, uh, you said uh, four. You said four, three, and seven, right? Yeah, four. Yeah, four, yeah we, we need to also just we don't want to forget about the uh, two twenty-seven daytime meeting right. as well. Mm. So. Oh yeah, I have a third match right there. Okay. And then we've got our two. I mean, in between times, I don't know about any of those meetings. I don't know how the advisory board is progressing, but we need to get together with them also. And then we also have to set some dates to open up the warrants. Mm -hmm. Close and do we want to do that on the next meeting probably? Oh, makes sense. Okay. Yeah, we're going to wait and sit. We're waiting to hear from the advisory committee anyway. So. Okay. All righty. Oh, and the next one here is um, to sign the CMRPC invoices for services rendered. This is a, a quarterly, they bill us quarterly and the amount due is $7,897.32. So I'd like commission to sign that. Motion to, it's about, to it, yeah, it has to be signed all by all three, I'm sorry. Yeah. Motion to sign. Yep. And uh, I'll get in there this evening and sign. All in favor? Aye. 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 Again, this is managing the 800000 The next thing on the agenda is other, and I have uh, something to bring up here. This came in from Larry Van Cott. We've been having, and I know personally, we've been having a lot of problems with the phone systems up here. And the phone systems are almost 20 years old. And so um, they were, Larry's been trying to get somebody to come in and work on them, but nobody will work on them because they're not familiar with the programming or they don't want to even repair the system. So Larry went out and he got us one quote, but I know that we would need more quotes. This is from Architect Communications in Sudbury, Mass. And um, they would, their hourly, what is it, an hourly labor of, um, would be installation of um, voicemails and 16 telephones co um, complete with programming of the system voicemail Parts below, we need um, mounting kits, user lines, port voicemail, and digital telephones. We need all different kind of lines, everything that comes in with this. And I uh, would have a two-year warranty on it, and 100% of the equipment price is due upon quote acceptance. And then uh, the remainder of the bill is due net probably 15 days. And uh, wiring is not included. The client must have it free pre-wired and the cost of this um, with a uh, with tax is $9,231.25 and I think we should probably go out and try to get some more quotes because this is it's needed very badly because we haven't been able to been problems now for a good couple of weeks isn't it Karen? Yes, I've been, yeah, all, all the calls are coming yeah, here. Yeah, all the calls are coming office. into Karen, and, we'll and a lot of times you call the town hall and it just rings and rings, and another time somebody else I called the other day and Mike picked up. So we do need to look into this. I think it's a, you know, it's a necessity right now. A quick question, is, so you said, and I have read that quote, but um, it says 15 lines, and I think currently, um, Oh, okay, that's right. We have we have options eleven through like seventeen or eighteen, so that should be more than sufficient, actually. Yeah. Um, that's great. So we should probably. And actually, under the uh, under the procurement laws, I mean, we we could get this on the warrant coming, and under the procurement laws, um, it's so low. But if we we can we can bid it out some more, but it's not a requirement to to at least consider them. I don't think. We, we can get three quotes. We should yeah. Get yeah, we'll three get three quotes, quotes on this. Right. But one of the nice things, though, is, I mean, I don't, it's in Sudbury, Mass., so I don't know how far away that is, but at least they're here in Massachusetts, where a lot of times you so, get these 
co companies bidding from out of town, you know, out of the state. Yeah, they're, uh, they're out about an hour from us, so it's not terrible. Okay, so we so. can, we'll probably try to get this and then maybe get this up and going and then decide, you know, where we're going to get the money to take care of it because we have to get this. I'll do a request for quotes. Yeah. Karen will quotes do a request. And then we'll see what we get in in time for time. All right, Karen, yep. thank you. Great. Okay, does anybody have anything else under other to bring up this morning? Okay. I have a question. Sure. Uh, just for point of information, um, back in the deep dark ages, it was mentioned that we have a, a special town meeting. Is that still on, or are we going to go straight to the annual meeting? We'll, we'll probably have a, a special, a special probably the same night as the town meeting. Okay, but not a separate one. No, not a separate. Okay. One. Our planning board is trying to plan their activities around that. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we'll just put, you know, close it up all last minute things and count. That's what we'll do. Just one, one other, okay. other. Uh, okay, sure. On uh, on uh, Tuesday the 27th at 6:30 in Town Hall, we have the next uh, dialogue meeting on the open space and recreation plan. What so, is that? Uh, February 27th. And there's two more. One in March, March 3rd, on a Saturday morning next door at the church to have people who are commuters to join. Mm -hmm. And then on 3:14, as a part of the AG meeting, we'll actually have the last meeting. And, and people are encouraged to attend any of these meetings. And that's not open space. Right. Okay. Yep. Thank you. All right. Now we have to we'll move on to correspondence. Uh, this is from uh, this is the state budget hearings. This is the Joint Committee on Ways and Means has scheduled statewide budget hearing. And uh, this is what Ann Goldie, and she's I enclosed a copy of the full schedule. All the hearings are open to the public. She'd like me to read them. On Monday, February, well, February 26th at UMass Old Chapel in Amherst, Mass. Uh, March 19th at the Wigan Auditorium, Peabody City Hall, 24 Lowell Street in Peabody, Mass. Friday, March 2nd at the Auditorium in the Media Arts Center, Building 1 in Roxbury Community College in Boston. And the other one is Monday the 12th at the Connector Room in Berkshire Community College, Field Mass, and March 13th at the Everett High School Library at 100 Elm Street, Everett. Wednesday, the March 14th at the State House in Gardner, and that's it. If anybody would like to attend those. Okay. Right. Now this is another one from. Just stating that they're interested in, in acquiring Cooley Hill, Audubon. Oh, okay. all right. Where it's Mass, right. Um, this is from Mass Audubon, it came. And Mass Audubon is interested in acquiring the property to consolidate ownership at Elm Hill Farm Wildlife Sanctuary. Should be acceptable terms such as sale be agreed to the parties. Okay, that's from Audubon. But didn't we have another one? Yeah, you have one? something from the um, uh, from the dam. From the dam, dam safe. Mm -hmm. It's a bit. It's right under. Keep going. Right. Yeah. One more. One more. Yeah, two more. Right where the clip is. Where the big clip is. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, we did right. get an extension. Okay. Then we also have an extension on the Cooley Hill Reservoir Dam that's in North Brookfield. And that we own, and it's a per year request. An extension of time has been granted through May 27, 2018, to perform the dam safety phase one inspection for completion and submittal to the report to comply with the order. Ken, do you have anything to add to that? I just looked at my catalog. We'll get it from Ty and Bond. They did a thorough investigation of the thing. If and that's attached. She has it attached. Oh, she yeah. had, the pictures. You it got was the, pictures. the last inspection. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. saw it, I already saw that. Yeah, I, that no, was I, an old one. So the real question, you're going to have a meeting with Dam Safety as to... Trying to. Yep. And so given uh, that meeting, uh, we'll understand. But my reading, Ken, of the report was that there was some holes that need to be filled in, some trees to be removed, but that that would be a requirement to be able to do the next, to right. do what they're asking. Right. So at least that if we were to do that, then that would avoid anything in the short term until we can get the requirements. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. 
I have a very quick question. Do you mind if I put in to have FedEx put a drop box? I mean, UPS have a drop box in front of the town hall. I think we've talked about that before. Mm. Yeah. Um, but it saves me a trip from going to East Brookfield. I don't have a problem with that. They're not big. We don't and need to do anything. Well, we don't they need to pay anything. Like have, sometimes they have envelopes. Will they have envelopes if somebody wants to do it? Send out one from here? I, don't, I think you can get them from the post office. But I, I have no idea, honestly. I just always have, usually they send it to you and then you send it back. But normally I have but to I know call them or drop it off. I have to send one out to somebody and I'm pretty sure I was going to send it, had an envelope in the side. Oh, yeah, they, I have no idea, honestly. Oh, no, I don't have any problem with that at all. And all right. Beth, you, you, you don't have a problem with that either? I, I didn't hear entirely what she said, if you could repeat that. To, it's a drop box to go out front so that UPS can drop stuff off for us. Oh, that would be great. Yeah, that's great. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. That's all I got. That was easy. Mm -hmm. They cut one over to the living truck stop and they have envelopes inside. Yeah. Okay, now um, we'd like to go into executive board session under um, session six. Session six says to consider the purchase, exchange, and lease or value of real estate. No, it's number two. No, you have. No, look, uh, executive session. Oh, okay, two. I read the wrong yeah. one because you had six down yeah. at the bottom. Of it. I'm two. sorry, that two. Is. To conduct strategy sessions in preparation for negotiations when non union personnel are to conduct collective bargaining sessions on contract negotiations with non union personnel. I would like to have a motion to go no. into executive session. Motion to go into executive session under exemption two. Okay, Beth? Second. Uh, um, Lincoln, I? Saturday. Right. Saturday. Okay, and then we will also adjourn at uh, 1031 for regular session and then to go back into regular session to close out the meeting. To adjourn. To adjourn. Sounds like a plan. <laughs>